Oh, we love such a cute little pop. Aww. I'm farting a lot. I don't know why I just said that. Biggest camel tour goes to Freya. Me and Freya just went oh, to. Um, we went to um, yeah. Sainsbury's and picked up some Scrabble. I got a pizza in the oven. Stand by you when you're falling. When the river is calling. I said I love you forever. We can make it together. Not that close, below. look at these spots. Byron Byron, Byron in Manchester. Anna Lynn Callum. Anna in sports. Forever, we can make it together. back to my channel. I don't know where the hell I've been. In fact, I do know where the hell I've been. I feel like I've been, ever since Adele's album dropped actually, I think I've just been in my room listening to Adele's album, fully pretending that I'm going through the same divorce as Adele. Yeah, that's where I've been. Also did go to a wedding. I basically just have been a bit MIA on YouTube. I, <laughs> I literally have just been listening to Adele's album. I have been nowhere else. I've done bare minimum. I feel like since Anna came out of the Locked In House, I've seen Anna a few times, literally just been hanging out with my friends, went to a wedding with Lewis, got married to Lewis. No, I'm joking, we didn't get married. Yeah, Lewis Baldwin, so where's my ring? I just feel like I left YouTube a little bit and then I put a lot of pressure on myself, but now I'm back. I'm back and better than ever, bitch. I feel like I just need to embrace the dark evenings and I need to not let it send me to bed at 7 p.m. In fact, it's been getting dark at like half past three and I just don't think it's cute. I really just don't think it's the cutest thing in the world, that like, it could be different. I mean, it couldn't because the sun quite literally just disappears from the sky and there's not really anything we can do to change that but daylight savings is really pissing me off now but it's nearly christmas i've been so bad at making myself breakfast lately like i feel like i skip breakfast and then have like lunch oh i also got some artwork for my wall i hate it i literally bought it the other day in tk maxx and now i hate it it looks like a brit award like tell me this is not like three brutal awards just chilling and now I absolutely hate it so At some point I am in fact gonna paint over it. I'm not entirely sure how, when, why No, I know why. I'm not entirely sure how, when, there's only how and when But I'm not sure when I'm gonna do it or how I'm gonna do it or what I'm gonna do it with But I am gonna paint over it at some point. No, I've never painted in my life But we love a challenge. Give me don't give me challenges. I need to eat, I'm starving, but I actually have nothing in. I don't want to order food, 
I would love a subway. Should I just order a subway? Fuck it. Should I just order a subway? Uh, I'm gonna piss my pants. Guys, I bet you didn't expect a day in the life this riveting and this accurate. Um, I'm on my fourth cup of tea of the day with the milk that's gone off. I'm farting a lot. I don't know why I just said that. I don't know why I just said that, I don't know. I'm basically now gonna sit for the next however many hours, probably until it goes dark, editing Saffron's vlog, and that's my life. Cheers to that. <laughs> my entire life has just become me listening to Adele. We just put on the holiday. Um, I'm gonna get the Christmas tree decorations. I think they're in here. I actually don't know where, but the baubles, oh, the baubles are literally right there and the Christmas tree's right there. But I swear I had more than just those baubles. Can't really remember what exactly is in here. Baubles. I honestly cannot remember what the Christmas tree even looks like, so I feel like I'm gonna get it out of the box and be like, oh my god, what the hell. Not necessarily the Christmas tree, but more the choice of decorations. I feel like me and Haz <laughs> just did it really last minute last year. Whereas this year, I kind of want to put a bit of effort in. <gasps> oh my god, I want to be the type of... <laughs> I want to be the type of gay dad to have like baubles from loads of different places and like have a collection of baubles that I've collected over the years. Maybe I'll start now. Not that I'm planning on having kids anytime soon. So Lewis, if you're watching this, you can stop shooting your parents. Yes. I think there's Christmas, there's Christmas bits in here. Right. I knew I had more Christmas things. I'm having such a realization of how much of a loner I actually am. Like I'm sat in my flat putting up my Christmas tree on my own. I feel like so many people make a big thing of like putting it up with people. Like, oh, me and my boyfriend put the Christmas tree up, or me and my family put the Christmas tree up. I just put the Christmas tree up. <laughs> ah! You shouldn't have, you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have. Oh, there's literally three pieces. I feel like this is a good spot for it. It was in front of my mirror before, which is where I built it, and it just sticks out far too much. I might pop it there, you know, and then try and run an extension cord from the office. Maybe that's a good shout. Maybe the Christmas tree will be there. Christmas tray is officially up, as you can see. And my house is feeling very festive. I put the heat in on, it's feeling warm. I feel like I need something for on my little island because the kitchen area is just looking how it always does. And I feel like now this little section of the room feels nice and cozy. I feel like I need the rest of the house to feel the same level of coziness. And then I'm gonna be really sad when I have to take it all down. Would love a big plant there. So maybe we'll replace the Christmas tree with a giant plant if I can find one. It's now half past four. I've literally just been laid watching the whole Day. It's not finished yet. I'm still watching it, but it's now half past four. I need to get my shit together Me and Lewis are going to a driving cinema at half past six but I need to be like dressed ready over at Lewis's house picking him up and driving to the driving cinema for half past six And I've got a lot to do basically it is some in the city this weekend So if any of you go in, I hope I this vlog's gonna be out past the point of it being Will have already been by the time this vlog goes up, but I hope if I met you you had a lovely weekend I am really excited. I'm a little bit apprehensive because it's not it's literally been two years since we've done any sort of YouTube event. But that being said, I'm really, really excited. However, I have nothing to wear. My train's not until 5 to 12 tomorrow, so I've got all morning to like sort things out. But I wanna wake up, have my breakfast, get my laptop and stuff all packed, and like my wash bag and everything, and at least not have to faff around with different outfits. So I think I'm gonna pack my clothes. In fact, I am gonna pack my clothes right now. That is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna pack my clothes, and we are gonna be organized. That's the plan. Look how cozy the living room looks when it's like this, like with the little, that did have fairy lights in it, but I don't have any batteries for it and the ones from last year have died. Um, how cozy is this entire, entire vibe? I bloody love it. I want to keep this up all year round. 
Now it's time to figure out what I'm actually taking with me. These are things that I want to wear more. Basically on my wardrobe in here I've just got things that I want to wear more that are new. Like this I've only worn once. This I've only, in fact all these I've only worn once. So maybe we'll go for a little green moment. Who knows? I'm going to fanny around, pick some stuff out. I'm definitely going to be taking these loafers. I got these the other day. I don't know if I've showed them in a video but I am obsessed with these. They might be the ugliest shoe in the world but I also think they are really cool. Now the question is, do I need this big suitcase or should I just take a duffel bag? Is it ridiculous? No, do you know what? I'll thank myself for taking a suitcase over a bag for when I'm like fannying around on the tubes. I don't know why the word fannying around is stuck in my head, but I'd like to get that removed ASAP. <laughs> Right, all my clothes are packed and ready to go for tomorrow. Right, I say packed and ready, that's an outfit that I'm wearing tomorrow and I just need to put these shoes in but I don't know which ones I'm going to wear. In the morning, um, I am all dressed and ready as in I've just had a shower, changed my trousers and my jumper and, and now I'm going to head over to Lewis's house to go pick him up and go to this drive-in cinema. I'm really, really excited. However, I feel like I've somehow made myself late. I was really, really on track with my schedule and now I feel like I'm rushing. So I'm literally going to run to Sainsbury's, grab a meal deal and then head to the cinema. So let's go. Hi. Hello. You're here for the movie? Yeah. We are indeed. Right through my lair. Uh -huh. <laughs> anyway, she did. <this. laughs> it's part of it, cringe right? Yeah, but I don't really know what I'm doing. The bells are ringing on for Christmas Day. Good morning vlog, it is Friday the 26th of November. It's quite early in the morning, which is why it's quite dark in my apartment. Do also have one of the blinds closed, which is probably adding to the darkness. However, I am literally at home from Lisa's house now. I'm gonna pack up my stuff, all the rest of my stuff actually. I pretty much did everything last night. And I'm gonna head to London, to City, to Sam in the City. You don't know what Sam in the City is. It's basically a big YouTube convention. I used to go every single year, and then obviously COVID decided to fuck it all up. And I haven't been in like two years, so it's gonna be really exciting, really nice to see everyone. <laughs> Right, we've um, just checked into our hotel, I'm sharing a room with Haz and then we're sharing with Anna in a couple of days time. Anna literally just rang me saying that she's coming up, so everyone's coming up here! But I feel like no one's gonna be able to get up to our hotel, I feel like you can only get to your floor. But really? apparently they didn't have to scan in their cards to get up in the lift. Yes. Anyway, we're staying in the Ibis, what is this? Aloft. Aloft, oh god. <laughs> we're staying in the Aloft Hotel. Anyway, we are now gonna wait for everyone. We've planned a full agenda for tonight, so we're basically gonna go shopping in Westfield, have a little mood round. It is Black Friday though, so I feel like that will be a bad idea. Oh, we don't to um, us. not oh, our Westfield. Oh, no. that would have been I would have run into Urban and been like, Yeah, no, oh, that would have been really cute. Bad. We're gonna go to Westfield and then I think we're gonna go for food and then go to the cinema. But there's like a massive group of us. Looks like I've got a hickey on my neck, or is it just the dirt on my screen? Oh, Who knows? Hickey? It's not a hickey, girl. Uh, like in there, and I has why don't you hide in there? And I'll say she's crying. She's crying. Do you mean you're about to fit what? in there? Is that cupboard? Babe, I'm not that skinny anymore. <laughs> yeah, I should take no, she's she's just what am I saying? I don't know because just say I'm going to be. That's how it has done for a second. But lift me. Cigarette! Yeah, say that off. Say I've gone out for a cigarette. I'll start it tomorrow. Oh my god, Byron, this is so tight. <laughs> <laughs> I've been getting too much of both because I can't breathe. <laughs> I'm in the closet. Hello, hello, queen. I stink. Give me the old beverage, ass. What's that? Fuck off. I don't know what I'm doing. I just started laughing in the background. Why is it there? She's probably not because you're always doing well. Don't know why he's filming. She's not in here. She's gone to Jazz and Sauce. Ha ha. She's gone to Jazz and Sauce. She's crying though. Oh, Why the actual fuck? She's crying in Jazzy's room. I guess how much I've won on the lottery up? £60. Something will happen. Yeah, you've won £60. No more. You've given him a gambling addiction for mentoring the last one. On the instant wins. Yeah, Jai Kane. 
Let's go ask me the next time. Oh my god. If only baby Jesus were here. Guys, we're back in the hotel room. Whoa. 90 million people in one bed. What's good? And we're all shagging. Who's going first? <laughs> Not the feature, man. Oh, no. This is gonna be my thumbnail. Three, two, one. It just works, will it? Jokes. This is gonna be my thumbnail. Just me and the club sisters hanging out. Because I need to shave my underarms because I'm always my pencil and carry. Three, two, one. Has looks different. <laughs> right, good morning, everyone. It is now the first day of sit -see. I've woken up with an awfully dry throat and a really dry cough. Don't, in fact, have COVID. We are gonna go and do our meet and greet now. Woo! Um, this is how I'm feeling about the meet and greet. <laughs> and period. Bye. Good luck, Charlie. They travel through blistering storms, scorching deserts, climb to the top of the tallest bloody tower to find a gender confused wolf. That's our Shrek. <laughs> I know, but I'm actually gonna go for a wee and get a glass of water now. Queen Jay! Queens, we've literally just finished our meet and greet. My test is just on charge currently. So once that's charged, I'm gonna run you all over in the expo hall. Uh, but I'm just waiting for the right moment, you know? We could have bags like Just come for food. Me and Karen have ordered a pint. Me and Karen have ordered a fucking pint. We're getting on the latch and we're gonna go in there and get some food. What on earth? It's just very hard, I don't want to pick the pieces out. What on bloody god screen here? I'm gonna do a time lapse of me eating. Starting now. All right, everyone, so it is a few hours later now. I sound awful, my throat is just a mess. However, I feel like talking all day has not done it any justice, but I am now dressed and ready to go downstairs. It's like a little party in the lobby of the hotel. So this is what I'm wearing. Everyone's already down there, but I wanted a little, wanted a little snooze so we're laid in bed for a little minute. But I'm wearing, I've just got changed. I'm now gonna go downstairs and meet Tia and everyone, and then we're gonna go into the party together. But that's the situation. this is the outfit. I'm ready to rock and roll. I'm not actually gonna drink too much tonight. I thought I was gonna have like a wild weekend, but I'm not because I don't want my voice to go any more than it already has. Don't even know if you can tell that my voice is gone, but I feel like my voice feels croaky and horrible. Also, I feel like my throat sounds weird. I know the potential cause of my throat sounding weird. Let's just say I stayed at Lewis's house last night and now my throat feels tender. Um, ciao. Anyway, so... So I'm not gonna make it worth baked. I'm gonna be sensible and just have fun with my friends. But, sober. Ish. Sort of. We'll see. We, we literally have been aimlessly wondering. Me and Tia have walked through the deserts. Bella's come to our saviour and I it's taken us. I just gave her a random address and everyone's going there, so hopefully we're back. <laughs> we're just <laughs> for the best. We're gonna end up in a fucking crackdown. Um, but we go in. <laughs> Oh, it's happened before, we've all been there, done that. So. We've been there, done that, darlings. Don't know what's happening by tonight. I'm not even filming anything, but here we are. Hey. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Welcome to Sixty. Welcome to Sixty, my loves. <laughs> <laughs> 